going to be making the um, Fire Dog Dalmatian from the Create a Critter. And um, I welded it together to make it into a card. And I welded it together at the top. <clears throat> and it measures on the Gypsy <clears throat> 4.35. And um, this is the shadow that I did for the base of the card. And then this image is the main base image. I cut it out in black. This is layer one, and I cut it out in white. This is layer two, and that includes the tongue and the hat and the, and the collar. And then this is layer three. And with layer three, um, I'm gonna show you how I, you can change the number one to the number two or any number that you want, as long as it's a single number probably. And I'm gonna be putting it together. I just add the main base image to the card base. I just added layer one to the main base image. I'm going to be adding the red hat to the top of the dog's head. And because I welded the card together, the very tip of it um, is not there. And if you tape it, it won't bend forward and you'll have tape sticking up. So I did not tape the very end of that. And I'm gonna take that over and I'm gonna place it on top and it's just going to have that little bit not taped so that I'll be able to bend the back of the card backwards. Okay, so I want you to see what I meant. I just bent my card backwards. I want you to see how, how that little tip right there um, shows. And so it's a good idea not to put any tape on the very end so it'll fold over. And it doesn't really matter that you welded that because um, it doesn't really matter for the front and it looks great. So I'm going to continue with my um, layering. Okay, so I just finished adding, adding the layers. Um, this was layer two, and I just added the collar and the little red tongue. Okay, so I just added layer three, which is the um, number to the top of the hat, and the little tag on the collar, and the um, card is finished. I will um, show you how to change the number out to the number two. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I made the, I changed out the one into the two. Um, what I've got here on the screen so far is I enlarged um, layer 3, which is the, um, the number. And what you do is you select that and you go to the Advanced tab. Once you go to the Advanced tab, you select the Hide icon, which is the corners right here. That will bring up your picture, and currently whatever's in red is what will be hidden. So I'm going to hide the number 1. Okay, then I hit OK and I go back to my screen and then um, I select the number two. The number two I, I have on here came from the Batman cartridge, but you can use any number two. I bring the number two and I place it on top of my um, emblem there, the shield thing for the, for the hat. And then what I do is, um, it's easier if I can enlarge this because I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And then um, what I do is, first of all, I rotate it so it looks about the way I want it to go. I'll probably have to rotate it again. So, and because you can still kind of see the one underneath there, it kind of lets you see what, how you should rotate it. You can see what I'm saying. And I think that'll work because the bottom of the two lines up with where the one was. Now I need to go back to my basic tab and I need to enlarge it and I can do that by hitting this big purple circle until I get it to the way I want it and that's about the size and I have to also remember that it's wider than the one so it can't be as um, tall but I think that right there would work and so then all, all you have to do is just um, it's set up and you can put that through your um, Cricut and it'll cut out the two and you could do that with any number so that's how I did that and, I, and the reason I'm doing it is for birthdays and um, my um, one of my relatives birthday is going to be two and so that's why I changed it to two from a one that's it and this is what it looks like with the number two so I have the number one and the number two I just wanted to say you should keep the cutouts from like the inside of the two inside of the one because you can use it inside of your card with a pop dot. Um, just wanted to let you know that. 
The next card I'm going to make is a firehouse um, dog house, and that's on page 35. And I cut that out at 5.20 on the gypsy, and I welded it together um, on the roof. And the next piece is the um, layer, and it's the first layer. And I cut that out in a brick using a brick paper. And the next layer is layer two, and I cut that out in yellow. Oh, one other thing is when I made the card base, I used the shadow. I did not use the main base layer. Then the other thing for the card is I cut out the accessory and I cut out the main base layer in black and the um, shifted layer in red. And it's the fire hydrant. The other thing that I cut out for this card is the happy birthday um, phrase and it came with a bear and the bear is on page um, on 27 and I cut that out at 1.31 height with a gypsy and then I also had a small dog that I had made earlier and I'm going to be using all of these elements um, on my card. I just added the layer 1 to the shadow card base. I just added layer 2 which is the yellow roof um, on top of the um, card base because I don't have the main base layer underneath here. So it's just above the um, layer one, but it's on top of the card base. I just added the happy birthday phrase from the, um, the bear, which was on page 27. Um, and I put that on top just above the door opening. And I added the layer to the hydrant. I just added the hydrant to the front of the card with some pop dots. I'm also going to be adding um, the dog to the front of the card with some pop dots. Alright, so there's my finished card. And I also wanted to tell you, in case you wanted to get brick paper like this, if it's still available, it is made by Hambly, um, and it's called the Brick Wall. And I also wanted to show you that I also added the Happy Birthday um, phrase to the inside of my dog card and I put the two on with a pop dot and I'll, I'll probably hand write a message inside.